Hello everybody, it is David here. Today we're going to talk about how to set up for a UHC tournament. So I'm not going to show you the server side stuff, um, like how to install the bucket plugin for like a server marker or whatever. I'm not going to show you that. But everything else you can pretty much do in, oh we have a village, everything else you can do in vanilla. So when you first get into your world, you want to uh, you know set yourself to cheaty mode so game mode one and then what you want to do is go set world spawn for somewhere that's going to be outside of your tournament area so we'd go like 1100 by uh, 80 let's hope it's not in a mountain by 1100 there we go and then you want to set your world center so go world border and center and you want it probably at zero zero so then what you want to do then is teleport out to your spot that's going to be outside of your world border so TP David to 1100 80 1100 and we'll see what's out here and I would recommend uh, before you let anybody else on to the server to fly around the world, load in all the chunks so it would prevent a lot of this from happening when you scatter your players. See how you're, I'm still just in the void. Oh, save me from the void. There we go. And we load it up. But it'll it'll prevent a lot of lag if you load everything up first. Okay, there we go. So apparently we're on a hill and we needed it to be 81. There we go. And it'll lag. It'll lag a bit. Even this is just in a single player world. And it's lagging a bit when I scattered. So that's normal. So then what you want to do is you want to set up your scoreboard. So go scoreboard, objectives, add health, health, not heath, and then go scoreboard, objectives, set display, list, health. And then that'll bring it up there. And you do have to take a little bit of damage before it'll work. So um, let's just go up here and then go game mode. Oh, come on. Learn how to type. Game mode zero. We'll drop down, take a little bit of fall damage, and then now it shows up. So you'll have to punch each one of your players when they log in just to get that to show up. And so let's go back to cheaty mode. game mode one and then we need some command blocks so then go give your name command underscore block one and then you'll also want to grab a little bit of redstone and a button and just a regular block so then let's set up our command blocks so this will be our first one and we'll set this will set the world border so we'll go world border 2000 oh wait no you have to go set 2000 there we go so that'll set a world border that's 2000 by 2000 from 00 because we set the center at 00, zero. and you could just activate it there and it would go and then you can put another block right next to it and have this one say spread players oops that's all one word you'll want it all one word spread players from zero zero that's your spread out point and you'd probably go about 300 if you have probably you know six to ten teams or players and you want to go just under the world border so we'll say like 980 would be the limit 
and if you're not doing teams you want it to be false if you're doing teams you want it to be true and then at a that'll spread everyone and then from here you could just start doing the next blocks too the next redstone blocks or the next command blocks not redstone blocks come on I'm lagging just a little bit so your next command block then would be to make the world border shrink so go world border set 200 so it'll stop at 200 by 200 and three hours is 10,800 seconds so it'll take three hours to go from 2,000 by 2,000 to 200 by 200 and then so let's set up the rest of the command blocks go away dirt so then the next one you would want to maybe correct the time so you could go time set 23 400 that's like right before dawn or right at dawn something like that and then you want it to set the game rules also so go game rule natural regeneration false so when the game starts it'll put it into UHC mode where you'll your life won't regenerate you want to make sure these all get the redstone power and I'll put down the next one and then like this one I like to put in um, you would go clear at a and that'll clear everyone's inventory when the game starts and let's put the next command block right there and then for this one I like to do this as well and that's just to do effect at everyone 10 is regeneration and you could go 40 seconds that would pretty much bring up all your health and let's go over there and then you can do this one effect at everyone 23 is um, hunger saturation and 40 so that would fill up everyone's hunger and their life and you're pretty much set here as for the timers like I said you probably want to do a bucket plug-in unless you have someone who will just sit around where your timer is and keep the chunk loaded <coughs> I don't recommend that but if that's what you want to do go right ahead there's plenty of ways to make redstone clocks with the command blocks that will shoot off a message every 20 minutes or whatever I'm not going to show how to do that unless you really beg me. <laughs> so then, once we have all this set up, let's say we want to play in teams. So let's set up our teams. So we'll go scoreboard, teams, add, um, what's a good team? The meanies. So we just added team meanies. So scoreboard teams option meanies color blue of course they have to be blue and then you can go scoreboard teams join meanies and then yourself or whoever and there you go now I'm added to the blue meanies. You're all set up. And then just uh, like I said, when you do the spread here, if you have teams, just make that true instead of false. And then they'll be spread out by teams instead of just individually. So let's check it out and see if it works. Oh, we have to go out of cheaty mode though game mode zero and hit the button oh it didn't do everything though I forgot to hook up all the redstone the right way 
So let's TP back to our spot. There we go. Ah. So maybe we want to be a little bit higher than 80. <laughs> Let's go TP me. Eleven hundred eighty five, eleven hundred. Let's try that. There we go. So we set the world border and something else, something went wrong. Oh, yeah, we'll have to reset the world border or else we will suffocate. That's why it's not working. World border set 10,000 and now let's TP back then there we go so what happened something happened here Let's try this again. I think it'll work now. I think I just didn't have the redstone hooked up the right way. Game mode zero. And let's fly. There we go. Everything almost went right. Oh, I see why it didn't. It didn't teleport us this time. I'm really good at redstone. So we almost had it right. So you probably want something like this hooked up then. Now we got it. That's the ticket. So let's try it out again. There we go, we finally got it all right. And we're at 65, 575. That's a pretty good spread out from where we started. We're in extreme hills. And of course, you'll have to wait for things to load up. And like I said before, if you fly around the world before you start playing and letting people play, like it'll make it a lot easier. But yes, everything went okay. We're all set up, we're getting our regeneration and the sun's in the right spot. So it worked. That's how you can set up for a UHC tournament. As for the timers, like I said, I would just use a bucket plugin, which is what we will probably use. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the UHC tournament. Woohoo, I'm excited.